Solve the matrix equation AX equals B for X. And we're given the matrix A, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. And that is going to have 1, 4, negative 5, and 2. And then matrix B is a 2 by 1 matrix. And we want to solve the equation AX equals B. So let's look at what this really means in terms of matrices. If matrix A is the given 2 by 2 matrix that looks like this, and matrix B is the given 2 by 1 matrix that looks like this, what exactly is matrix X? Well matrix X is our variable or unknown matrix. And since we are looking at matrices that are 2 by 2 and 2 by 1, in order for this to work using multiplication, a 2 by 2 matrix must multiply a 2 by some other value for the number of columns, but there must be at least two rows in it. And since we're only looking at a 2 by 2, we're going to let x be equal to the following variable matrix. It is also a 2 by 1 matrix. And if you notice, when we put this right here, since matrix A is a 2 by 2 matrix and matrix X is a 2 by 1 matrix, the resulting product must be a 2, 2 by 1 matrix. Now, in order to solve this, we're going to use the following information. If we take the matrix equation AX is equal to B, in order to solve for X in and of itself, I need to make sure that I can remove this A on the left hand side and apply it to the right hand side. Unfortunately, with matrices, you can either only multiply on the left of an item or on the right of an item. It is not necessarily commutative. So what I'm going to do, is multiply both sides of this thing by A inverse. And if you remember, A inverse times A will yield the identity matrix. And the identity matrix times any matrix is simply going to be that matrix. So we're ending up with I times X is equal to A inverse times B. Now, since I times X is simply X, this whole thing is simply going to be x is equal to a inverse times b. Now in order for this to work I need to know what a inverse is. I don't know what a inverse is so we're going to have to calculate a inverse. Now remembering that a is equal to the following 2 by 2 matrix, how do we find a inverse? Well, A inverse will be equal to 1 over A times D minus B times C times the following. And then we will move D right here. We'll move A right there. And then we will make B and C negative. Now that's given the fact that we're assuming that A has the following form. So you'll notice that in this case, A is 1, B is 4, C is negative 5, and then finally D is 2. So let's go ahead and calculate A inverse. That will be equal to 1 over, since A is 1, and we multiply that by D, which is 2, and we will subtract B, which is 4, and we will multiply that by C, which is a negative 5. And then we multiply this by, and remember, D is going to go from being right here to being right here. So that's going to be 2. B is going to become negative, so that's a negative 4. C is also going to become negative, so that's a negative, negative 5. And then we're moving A down to this position. 
So let's go ahead and simplify a little bit. And this will be equal to 1 over 22 times 2, negative 4, 5, and 1. Now I can go ahead and multiply this out if I so desire. And we'll have 1 over 22 times 2, which will reduce down to 1 over 11. 1 over 22 times negative 4, which will be a negative 2 over 11. 1 over 22 times 5 will be 5 over 22. And then 1 over 22 times 1 is 1 over 22. And this is A inverse. Now that we know what A inverse is, we can go back to this rewritten equation x equals a inverse times b. So let's rewrite that as x is equal to a inverse times b and let's rewrite what x will be equal to. It will be equal to the following matrix which is a 2 by 2 matrix. This is a inverse that I'm writing right now and I'm going to multiply that by the matrix B. Now you may not remember what B is and so we'll scroll back up just to look at it and matrix B is right here with a negative 2 in the first position in column 1 and 6 in the second position in column 1. So this right here is our answer for X. Now you can do this longhand, you can use a graphing calculator or you can use a matrix calculator that is contained in Blackboard. I've pasted in the link to the web-based matrix calculator that we're going to be using and what I'm going to do is bring that in in a minimized window so that we can look at it. But for the purposes of this one actually what we're going to do is go ahead and calculate it by hand then we'll talk about the matrix calculator so to find X remember that we will be looking at a 2 by 1 matrix and in order to do this we're going to take this element and multiply it by that element so we'll have 1 over 11 times negative 10. We will add to that this element multiplied by this element which will be negative 2 over 11 times 6. And then we'll take this element here and multiply it by this element which will be 5 over 22 multiplied by 10 and we will add to that this element multiplied by that element so then we'll have 1 over 22 times 6 and I did miss that this should have been a negative 10 when I wrote it down so we are fixing that and then we simply multiply to alright finishing our arithmetic here we'll have neg 1 over 11 times negative 10 that will give me a negative 10 over 11 and I'm gonna add to that negative 2 over 11 times 6 which would be a negative 12 over 11 and then we'll take 5 over 22 and multiply it by negative 10. Notice that I can go ahead and divide through 2 in both of these and end up with a negative 25 over 11. And I'm going to add to that 6, over, 6 times 1 over 22, which will be equivalent to 3 over 11. And then we still need to simplify so therefore x will be equal to negative 10 over 11 plus negative 12 over 11 which is negative 22 over 11 which will be negative 2 
and then negative 25 over 11 plus 3 over 11 will be equal to negative 22 over 11 which will be also negative 2 and so we have our answers and in this particular case since x is equal to negative 2 and negative 2 that means that our little variable x will be negative 2 and our little variable y will be negative 2 or I should say in this case lowercase variable to get our matrix calculator. Remember that we have ax is equal to b and we know that our problem from what we've just done is the following so we have 1, 4, negative 5, and 2. We're going to multiply that by x, and that will be equal to b. Now remember, in order to solve this, and I'm sorry, b is the following matrix, negative 10, and then 6 here. Now remember, to solve this, we want to end up with x is equal to a inverse times b. Well, we can use the calculator, the graph, the matrix calculator, to do most of the heavy lifting. So we'll bring this calculator in. Let's kind of open it up a little bit so hopefully we can see everything. And what we want to do is we're going to input matrix A first and so we need to click in the input field here and we're going to enter the first row which is going to be 1 comma 4 we separate the rows by colons so I type in a colon and I type in the next row which is negative 5 comma 2 and then I can press the enter button and you'll notice that I am given Oh, I did not get the negative 5 in there so let's try that again I'm going to go ahead and clear this because it's really easy to do. I've just cleared everything. Let's try it again. And this is a classic example of making sure that you are watching what you're typing in. So I'll have 1, 4, and then we're going to have a colon, and then negative 5, 2. Press the Enter key. Notice that we have the correct make matrix now. I then want to clear the input field and just simply click inverse. Notice that it gives me the inverse of matrix A and we notice that that's exactly the same as what I had calculated. Let me go ahead and show you that and there's our matrix A inverse. Okay, so bringing back the matrix calculator, scrolling back down to where we are, we'll go ahead and continue. Now, I want to multiply this by matrix B. So what I'm going to do is enter matrix B, which is simply going to be a negative 10 colon 6. I'll press the enter key to enter it, and then I'm going to left click the multiply button. we'll see that we have an answer right here of negative 2, negative 2 and therefore we can state that x is equal to the following and what does that really mean? that means that my variable little x is negative 2 and my variable little y is negative 2